Russia is digging in at almost all the front lines, only pushing hard at Bakhmut, creating trenches and putting out massive amounts of dragon teeth, all the way from Kharkiv down to the Crimean Peninsula as Ukraine has managed to flip the roles to be on the side with the larger counteroffensive, Russia is trying to hold on to the taken land. Seen from satellite imagery, larger defensive line with zigzag trenches and dragon teeth is what Russia hopes will stop Ukraine from taking back Crimea, but are the dragon teeth effective to hold a defensive line? The around 1 meter high reinforced concrete object is used as an anti-tank defensive line. The thought is that the pyramid shaped concrete structure will get pushed back and down into the ground, thereby raising the tank's track, resulting in the tank getting stuck. However, what isn't demonstrated in the video are the numerous problems for Dragon Teeth to become an effective anti-tank line. Firstly is the route around or in between as the line only has capability to work if covering the entire front line to not allow vehicles to get through. As it's placed in the front of trenches, these area will be hammered by artillery before tanks getting there, resulting in the destruction of many dragon teeth, creating gaps in the vulnerable lines, which is possibly why Russia built several rows on several positions to try to compensate the fragile line. The dragon teeth also get vulnerable if not protected, as demolition teams, engineering vehicles, or just hooking the pyramid to a vehicle lets an easy breach to be created. So the effectiveness of the dragon teeth line only works if untouched, which is not the reality of war. But also proven from a video, the teeth don't really have the effect desired on the tank, as it can drive over these without much problem. While the tank could get smaller damages like that on the track while running over the pyramid shape, the fairly ease the tank could run over or beside these results in an even untouched line to be vulnerable to tanks, defeating the main purpose of the line in the first place. This pyramid structure isn't the first time to be tested. Back during World War II the tactic was tested but not deemed effective. What also should be considered is that this was World War II vehicles and technology the Dragon Teeth lost against, which points to that Russia's Dragon Teeth line will be more for show than an effective anti-tank line. That's all I had for this video. Please like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.